that's Mount Tyler just behind us. That's a 4,000 feet. So last night there was an incident. Um... As we start this hike, that's Mount Tyler just behind us. That's a 4,000 feet extra in height. So we drove up 6,000 feet in elevation almost. Got my pack on me. Three to four pound less than last time, but still around the 30 pound range. This is super steep. Check that out. Right away, the incline is horrible. Lots of mosquitoes around here because there are lakes. 4.25 mile in. The first day we're gunning for 7.8 miles. We're camping out near Susie's Lake. Here there's a really nice lake. To have your tent near the lake would be super dope. The road here is pretty much a mess. As you can see, being whacked by plants everywhere. Probably should have worn long sleeve pants instead. Don't want any ticks touching my feet. Can y'all hear that noise? It's really loud, like a high pitch of a noise. If y'all know, let me know in the comments below. My yeah. parents' house, they had, they had these around where you hear them. And then I, I pointed out to my mom and she couldn't hear him because like, you know, they're oh. like in a certain frequency range where like, if they reach a certain age. So now it gets a lot steeper. We're a mile into the hike and now there's no more trees as well for shade. So we're just hiking in this heat now and this rugged trail lots of stones and gravels yes in the sun as well So after lunch, we out here at Fallen Lake and Lake Tahoe. Whew. So we gotta take big steps. No baby steps allowed. Crap. Too short. <laughs> Push my ass up. Three, two, one, go! Teamwork makes dream work. It's been over two hours since we started hike. We're over two miles in. We probably have three to four hundred more feet. I would say four hundred more feet up in elevation until we're at the highest peak of today's hike. But don't forget, we still have another fifteen to nineteen hundred elevation to gain tomorrow as well. It's definitely tiring, but it's not as bad as I thought. Definitely hot without shade, but once again, mosquito or heat. Funny story. Yesterday, I actually had a little thunderstorm before we came. Echo LKS or Aloha. So I think I found out what all those hissings are. Those are all a bunch of grasshoppers hissing. We've done at least four miles. We're more than halfway through and yeah. Got an estimate of three miles left. Oh, there's a hisser right there. That thing. Look, all four logs are all different. That's a dark one. This one has a lizard desert skin. This one's decaying, and that one's already done with. Yeah. And dried apples. Oh heck yeah! Did you, you want to just? Yes, take all of them. Oh no, uh, that's enough. Oh, okay, so he doesn't have to like. Oh, <laughs> this is like real Thank food, right? Are you guys hiking so all the PCT? Of course. Uh, not the whole thing. We're but just still, doing a little, a little matter, bit. A We're going up to Talek. Okay. Oh, that's enough. That's okay, okay. way more than you want some? Yeah. Appreciate it so much, guys. Okay. Yay! Yeah. All right, thank you. Cheers, guys. All right, enjoy. Those are the nicest people I've ever met during my backpacking trip. Dried apple, mango, chocolate. Thank you. This is probably the best moment of my backpacking trip. Something I've always wanted to um, do is step foot in a PCT. Ever since I read the book from Cheryl Shea, I forgot what it's called at the moment, but um, ever since I read that book, I've been going on these type of outdoor adventures. It's, I've been inspired by her and her backpacking trip around the PCT. And here I'm finally stepping foot in part of the PCT. The PCT leads from, I think, San Diego or Mexico, all the way past Oregon. So 
is a few hundreds of miles away in total for the PCP, PCT and I'm excited to say that I'm on the PCT trail crazy I'm actually on the PCT though wow Cheryl Stray inspired by you now here I am at the PCT let's go we are next to the popular Lake Aloha you can kind of see it from here with the trees blocking you hear so much people out there it's crazy and while backpacking, we crossed by a few other people and then everyone's like trying to camp out in Lake Aloha and just chill around there while we're going to Susie's Lake, so... Wow, Lake Aloha is big. Look at that. It looks super fun. We might just have to backpack and camp out here instead. It's already 3.45 p.m. Honestly, I thought we would be done with this hike by 3 or at least camp out by 3. Lake Aloha is pretty long of a stretch. It really looks like some desolation spot. That's why it's called Desolation Wilderness. Lake Aloha is looking a little promising, which I was staying out here to be honest. I mean, it looks really nice. It looks like water that I can actually swim in. Especially, I'm ready to swim as well. But yeah, we gotta keep going because we got a lot of ground to cover. And if, the more we cover today, the easier it will be for us tomorrow, especially with the peak of Mount Talek, the summit is going to be a little difficult. So we want to cover as much as we can. Check out all those rocks over there to your left. Sick. Hello. Uh, hello. What's wrong? What? You don't want to turn. Then I guess we camp out here. How much? We got like a mile. Before Susie? Yeah. No, no, we don't need it. Susie, we could just do five miles tomorrow. Me, me, me. Do it for the camera. <laughs> so now we're at Heather's Lake. So that's right next to Susie. So we're not too far from Susie's. Oh, the fly. And what I like is the water super close to us. Wow, I could just get my feet in there right now. And relax a little. Looks so cool, the water sounds so calming. Wow, we have a beautiful lake right on our right. You look left, what if all these gravels decide to fall from a little shake? Super dangerous. A little stressful walking. Use all the rocks. You could get a little ankle twist. A few times already actually happened. That right there is when you know it's gonna be cold. If there's still ice around here, it's gonna be a cold night that means. Especially next to the water. Woo! That's so cool. It doesn't even look real. So we've arrived here to Susie Lake. And the little island right here, it's kinda all bad. There's a lot of tents out here already. So kinda sad, but now we gotta keep moving forward. Because all the good spots are basically taken. You see right there, and there's more over there. Alright guys, we found our little site where we're going to touch down at. All the good sites been taken. We found this little one here. It's pretty dope as well. I'm probably going to be sleeping on the boulder. Hope my new sleeping pad will do justice. But yeah, there's one downside about this, mosquitoes. But when you're at a lake, I guess mosquitoes are pretty much there always. But yeah, look at this. We got the lake right here. It's always been a dream. A dream of mine to be camping next to a lake. Wake up with some hot green tea. I think this is it. I think I found my spot <laughs> next to the water. This is crazy. This is crazy cool. Dude, there's a lot of butterflies. Over 20. Oh, oh good. Anyways, so right before the sun sets, we're gonna take a little dipping in the water, pry to my legs. And yeah, just get a quick rinse and that good feel to it before the um, sun fully fades away. The sun is about to Ooh, go down, so we gotta actually go. get this. 
Who said it was warm? <laughs> it, it is a little cold, so yeah. I'm gonna get my whole body in there. I don't have a towel on me. Sun's shining, so then it's not gonna dry off right away. But yeah, there's these little minnow fishes like that's like constantly right next to your feet. It's like they're trying to bite your dead skin because I am feeling I do feel a little bite from them. Yeah, so I think they're biting my dead skin from what the pipe. And yeah, now we're at the Idaho potato. Smells like it. Perfecto. Put into this bag. I'm actually just gonna pour it on here. Like you already got the water. Now time to try out these potatoes. Looks really dense. Still warm, pretty damn good. Now I know why you got it. It's a lot too. So it's gonna fill you up. And it's good protein for tomorrow's hike. I have here some chicken coconut curry. <laughs> it is super good, no joke. It really, it really is highly recommended if you're um, camping. I just, I'm just tired of always cooking these things because half the time I fail on the water level for some odd reason. And they are a little heavy and big. So we all decided to go back into our own tents because there are way too many mosquitoes even though it's only 8, 15 a.m. or p.m. I meant. There's just, you know, staying next to a lake, you're gonna, it's bound to happen. There's gonna be a, a lot of mosquitoes. And it was really bad. So we all decided to just hit our tent and just do whatever, you know. There's nothing really to do. I mean, I get to, <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. So let me just do that. Let me just look, look at the lake and just enjoy this moment because it's not every day you get these. But there are a lot of mosquitoes swarming around waiting for me to open this up so they could just swarm and get me. And also for tomorrow, we are hiking to Mount Talek. It's gonna be a short hike, like a three point something miles, but it's gonna be so steep. It's gonna be worse than today in terms of elevation. So it's gonna be pretty difficult, but it'll be a short day. I decided to take out the tent cover, the rain cover for my tent. And it's pretty cool. You know, it's not too cold yet, but later on I will need to put it back on. Right now, I could just enjoy seeing the sky and the lake right behind me. I mean, right on my toes. You really can't ask for anything better than this. This is, well, outside from the mosquitoes, yeah. Um, this is amazing. This is like, this is why bad bike. I like these moments. You just can't beat these moments. So last night there was an incident, um, Vader had a heart, Vader has a heart issue and um, you know my tent isn't right next to theirs but I could hear him like calling for Ryan's name and um, he wasn't like, and I, I heard it so I responded yelling back out. So later on uh, at like 10 a.m., 10 p.m. I went over to his tent and asked him what's wrong, it's like, he said that he think um, he kind of basically knocked out without knowing he knocked out of exhaustion so um yeah 10 p.m we was just like helping him the whole time until like 11 p.m and yeah um we were thinking of canceling the whole trip but but it was night so we couldn't really walk back at night especially with all the rocks around and vader already kind of messed up his knee and sprained his ankle a little while around here so yeah, I checked up on Vader this morning before I hitting the sunrise. He seems to be good now, but we don't know. I'm about to go back there and check on him, see if he's okay now. But even if he's okay, I think we're going to cut the trip short by a day and just head home. Probably finish Mount Talek and then go home instead of relaxing and camping near Mount Talek. So it's going to be a hard one, but we're going to have to get it done for our friends' sake of health. Good morning, Travelhead. It is 5.25 in the morning. And knowing me, I also gotta go catch the sunrise when I go backpacking. So you already know what I'm doing. I'm catching the sunrise. I'm walking to a spot for sunrise near a waterfall. Check out the moon. So I'm out here trying to get my tan laps. My GoPro is actually just right over there. But it's super annoying. There are so many mosquitoes out right now. This, I'm like, no lie, this is such a beautiful trip, but 
The mosquitoes are very annoying. As you can see, it's like flying everywhere. It's like just hit my nose. Yeah, the mosquitoes here are aggressive. We got some matcha green tea, organic, boiled right now. A little tea and breakfast before leaving. What this nice view. The mosquitoes has all flew away. Don't know where they are. Alright Chawas, we know what happened the last time I had mama noodles in the morning while backpacking. No! This time, we're gonna recreate that one year anniversary by bringing back the mama noodles. Bet you it's not gonna spill this time. A $10 stove, now a $150 investment stove. If it spills, I'm done. I'm done backpacking. Put this mama noodle in there. There you go. Stuff. Here we go, mama noodles. One more ride. All right, travel heads, we have docked out. We are heading to Mount Talak, and most likely, like I said earlier, we're gonna do the whole thing today. So we got 8.2, 8.5 miles with at least 2,000 elevations to go. It's 9.05 a.m. right now, and we just started our hike. So we got a little decline, and then a shitload of an incline. It'll be a rough one, but we'll get through it. We always do. So now we're here at Gilmore Lake. So right after this, it's gonna be very steep all the way up to Mount Talak. So I'm gonna take a little strawberry banana, little protein thing to give me some energy. There we have Susie. Then we have Gilmore right over there. We've made it to Talak. After this is a 0.4 mile down to check out the toilet view and I had to come back and go this trail so so we're hiking up the 0.4 mile trail ouch, of Mount Tack the, the trail's on pay so be ready for that about to be at the sun. We dropped off our backpack to come up here. We made it here to um, Mount Talat and yeah, sick view, just chilling out here a little. It's quite warm actually. I would have thought it would be super windy, but it has a little wind, but super warm as well. The sun is like pointing out here. Yeah, so you, these, like just hiking up here at the 0.4 miles, is a lot of unpaved roads, so you guys really gotta be careful. These stones and stuff. Dangerous for your ankle. Actually reminds me a little of Hawaii. Right? Doesn't look a little like Hawaii to you guys too, right there. So for Mount Talak Summit, we're actually up 9,600 plus feet. That's probably the highest I've ever been for a hike. I'm not sure. I don't know. Cause Yosemite, it's only been like 7,500 to 8,500 for us, right? I'm not sure how much angel landing and all that all that was for me. Even the planes are like below us when they're flying the small planes. So never tried this type of protein bar. Three egg whites, six almond, four cashew, and two dates. No bullshit. Mm. That's so weird. It's so compact, everything in there. It's so chewy. Blueberry as well. Talk about unpaved trails. All downhill is going, is all unpaved. 
Imagine if y'all went this way up Talak, it would be pretty difficult. Definitely gotta watch your ankle, even if you're not carrying a pack with you. We are finally out from the trail, but in this private parking space, parking lot, we got to walk a little, very small town to get to our car. That was exhausting. Yo, so the spot has an ice machine and a water machine. We just filled up the whole canteen at Vader House full of ice and water. I just chugged it. <laughs> Shirt's all wet. I was just like, like Stone Cone, how he drinks beer. It's exactly what I did. That was the best water I had in 2021. Woo! There you go, Mount Talak, right up there. Less than four hours ago, we were just over there. And now, we're at the parking lot. So, just like last time, guys, what did I get after my hike? Starbucks. <laughs> 